you talk about a system that has been fouled up and broken for a long time, and Republicans did it, Democrats have done it, the Supreme Court has gotten involved here, and a lot of people are just kind of fed up with it and are saying, you know, there's a better way of doing this whole thing, and one of them is a uh, son of a former governor here in the state of Pennsylvania. He is David Thornburg, and he is one of the chairman of Draw the Lines PA, uh, dot org. And you can check that out, by the way, drawthelinespa.org. In fact, maybe you'll want to check that out when you get done with this interview this morning. We welcome David to the show. David, great to have you on WSBA. Good morning to you. Gary, glad to be with you. Well, an honor to have you aboard this morning. And I thought I saw you and uh, another former governor's uh, uh, daughter uh, together on a video, which I thought was enjoyable. But you talked about this dilemma that we have of a broken system here in Pennsylvania when we're drawing up the lines for how we district out. Uh, for our representatives. And, of course, uh, we have a commission right now, but there's actually a place for a fifth person on that commission, and it's that point that we come to this morning. Tell us all about it. Sure. Well, uh, you know, given that this is uh, uh, the start of the baseball season, it's also the, the start of the map drawing season. So uh, <laughs> there's there's a lot of uh, activity going on uh, that we want to encourage people to get in, involved with. You mentioned um, the, the commission is called the Legislative Re- 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 Reapportionment Commission, and um, it has been organized in Harrisburg, and these are the folks that draw the state election maps. And they have, uh, uh, with, with our encouragement, uh, opened uh, the uh, possibility that, that any citizen of Pennsylvania can apply to be the fifth member and chair of that commission. So that's one of the messages that we want to carry to folks. Um, there's a tight deadline. You need to uh, uh, get your application in by this Friday, the ninth. Uh, so there's some urgency to it. But uh, uh, this is this is a great opportunity for for people of, of judgment and goodwill and integrity to step forward and and help to unravel this complicated, confusing, and, and broken system that you mentioned. So uh, uh, lots of lots of good stuff to do. David, I've been watching this system for years, and I watched when the Republicans had control of it, and I'm watching uh, the Democrats, and now I'm watching the Supreme Court do it as well. And, 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 you know, whenever politics is infused into things anymore, unfortunately, I don't know that there's a common goal of getting it right. There's a common goal of winning an election. Uh, in this case, I, I think, you know, having somebody in there that could be uh, – a citizen who maybe wouldn't have that agenda, if that's at all possible. I'm not sure anymore that it is, but let, let's say it is. Uh, at least we'll give the citizens a fair chance at seeing something a little bit more fair than what we see right now, because what we see right now, I've I've seen, I remember the guy from Philadelphia used to draw lines around various houses. I mean, it was ridiculous to see how this thing was redistricted. And, and now we, we see it. We're, we're trying to get some semblance of honesty to it. From your standpoint, David, what what do you want to see? What what? How do you want to see districting take place now uh, in the state of Pennsylvania? Yeah. Well, the last couple of years, there have been efforts to change the process. We've been part of those. And, and sadly, uh, uh, the, the clock's run out on uh, those efforts. Um, so what we're left right now with is just to make sure that this process that we have, as flawed as it is, is open and transparent and, and reflects the interests of Pennsylvanians and, and our communities. Uh, so that's why we're encouraging people to apply for this uh, to, for this uh, position on the commission, and also urging that, that the commission uh, take ample time to travel the highways and byways of Pennsylvania to understand what people want these districts to be. It's really important to know these districts belong to the citizens; they don't belong to individual legislators. And we got to keep making that point over and over again. Um, and in fact, uh, you're, you're catching me on the, the leg of a, of a tour that we're making uh, around Pennsylvania in a specially outfitted 1991 Volkswagen camper that we're calling the Volkswagen. And uh, we're, we're, we're stopping in uh, dozens of communities. We're actually uh, outside of Lancaster right now uh, at the uh, Dutch Haven uh, 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 famous Shoe Fly Bakery. Exactly. I know exactly where you are. Yes, I do. Yep. Uh, and and uh, actually, this afternoon we're going to be at the Haynes Shoe House outside of uh, uh, York. Uh, okay. Just to make the point that you know these are the the kind of community icons that I think really make Pennsylvania Pennsylvania, and that's what these maps should do. These should reflect. These maps should reflect 
the, the communities and the, the ties that bind people together. And we've got to find ways to carry that message to uh, the folks that draw the maps and to argue for a process that, that uh, allows those, you know, those values to, 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 to come out. Because we can't let this uh, process get hijacked again by the narrow partisan interests that otherwise will do their damage. David, what time will you be at the shoe house today, the Haynes Shoe House? It's right out there we along Route 30. at the shoe house at uh, about 3.15 this afternoon. Okay. If anybody wants to stop by, we'll, we're doing a little social media, um, and uh, we'd be happy to talk to any of your listeners that want to come by and share their thoughts. And just look for the distinctive red, white, and blue Volkswagen in the parking lot. Yeah, it's just off 462. Now, you can see it off Route 30, the shoe house, but uh, you come down 462 and you turn back there, and they have, uh, I think it's called Shoe House Road, actually. Strange name for a yep. road, but, uh, yeah. Uh, but uh, that's where you can go. And, you know, David, when I, when I look at this, I mean, you, you're the son of a former governor, and, uh, you know, politics has changed so drastically. Uh, you know, I, I kind of remember when your dad was a governor, and I remember when uh, – uh, Mr. Leader was a governor, uh, who's your, one of your traveling mates there. And, you know, I just th- there was a time where the aims at the end were the same, you know, where the goal at the end for both parties was the same. You might have a different way of going about doing it, but it, it was kind of understood that the aim was the same, to get something done that would help the people. This is kind of the same thing right here. We're getting, kind of trying to get back to some old-time practice of politics, if you will, where – you want something done that's going to benefit the people in the long run, not benefit the Republicans or benefit the Democrats, which is why you as a Republican, and I, I know your counterpart there as leader is, is a Democrat, but the point is that there's a common goal at the end, and we need to get back to that kind of thinking a little bit, don't we, David? Yeah, absolutely. And our emphasis, and that's the whole spirit of this tour, is to, to talk about Pennsylvania and our communities, because at the end of the day, uh, that's the identity that we share and that we have in common, whether you live in you know, Erie or Philadelphia or Schuylkill County or Lancaster or York or whatever. That's what we have in common. And we've got to emphasize that and, and just drag our political process uh, back to that, that ground of uh, reasonable back and forth that, as you said, gets us to a place uh, where uh, we want to be at the end of the day. So there's a lot of work to do, but, you yeah. know, this is the story of America. It's never easy. <laughs> And uh, we just, as citizens, got to dig in and do our part. And in this case, you know, we really encourage folks to get involved in this uh, reapportionment redistricting process because you can really make a difference. And finally, going to drawthelinespa.org, they can get involved by, A, wanting to be a uh, on this committee, which you can do. I mean, anybody's available at number B, or letter B there, is basically uh, you have a, like a petition that you're signing as well. Is that correct? Uh, yep. Um, a petition just to encourage, again, openness and transparency and community involvement. Um, and we've had a great response. We've already had uh, a few hundred people raise their hand and say, sure, I can take a look at serving in this role. So we'd love to see thousands uh, step forward to, to, to take this leadership role. And yeah. appreciate the chance to spend some time with you this morning and talk about it. Well, my honor as well. And again, don't forget, you have to get kind of in there before December 9th. That's it's Friday. So check it out. DrawTheLinesPA.org. You say, well, I'd like to get involved. Well, guess what? Here's a way you can try to get involved right here. And don't forget to stop by and see David and the good people this afternoon from this organization. They'll be out at the uh, Haynes uh, Shoe House right there along 462 and Route 30 at about 3, 315. So stop out and see them out there and stop and talk about this whole uh, Draw the Lines uh, effort David, thank you for getting out on the road there again, and thank you for what you're doing. We appreciate it, and we hope uh, you know, we can start restoring some, some good stuff here in our politics in Pennsylvania. Again, drawthelinespa.org. David Thornburg with us this morning. I'm with you, Gary. Thanks so much.